Hi, I'm George Cow, and in this short video, I want to share with you a tool that I've put together. It's a free tool that could be life changing for you or for someone you know. So please feel free to share this forward. It's going to be life changing for me, I know, uh, because I'm, as you can see from this tool, I'm now researching. Uh, more affordable places to live. Right now, my wife and I live in the San Francisco Bay Area, which is one of the most expensive places, uh, one of the most expensive cities, and one of the most expensive countries in the world. And if we were willing to relocate to a much cheaper place, this would allow us both more freedom to study, uh, to serve generously. Like the way I serve generously is online as you probably know I create these free videos that give tips on how to create an online business doing what you love in an ethical way authentic marketing joyful productivity how to how to do how to um, be in flow and joy and calmness while you work on, on with purpose and healthy money is also what I love talking about so um, if uh, you know my, my wife right now is very very uh, accommodating and of, of me doing this crazy exploration, but where I'm just in the beginning stages, I'm hoping that maybe you could help out too, or know someone who could help. In fact, if you know anybody who lives in Mexico, Costa Rica, Ecuador, Thailand, Malaysia, or Panama, uh, please let me know, or if, if, especially someone who is supportive and friendly and maybe willing to help, um, uh, help or or participate in this discussion about what it's like to live in their country please let me know especially particularly someone you know who has moved there from somewhere else but I'm also looking for locals who know English um, thank you so much so let me show you this tool now and uh, you might be able to use this or send it on to people who might be su super grateful that you shared this with them so um, I'm gonna be doing this research ongoingly so this is just at the beginning stages but and in fact you're gonna see the spreadsheet change up, be updated over the next few weeks as I as I intensify my research but already I think it's quite useful so basically I've listed out some countries that where I began this research was was doing some internet research on uh, where do expats particularly American expats uh, expatriates are basically people who move from their country to another country expats is the short term so I researched where do American expats live basically uh, especially cheaper places and um, uh, the first places I went to were uh, were these these websites. And basically, when you click on anything on this tool, the, the link to this tool is in the notes of this video. So be sure to look for that and, and open it. It's free and op available without any signing in. Um, so when you click on a link that has, or when you click on um, a cell that has a link, the link will show up above the cell. So you just click on the link there, and I will show you. Uh, these are this is where I got the initial data is um, you know these these are these are websites for expats and they do surveys of expats to say well where where do you love to live um, and then you know here are the top destinations uh, so I, I, I took a look at that and also International Living Magazine is a popular magazine for international travel and living so um, I also looked at their 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 list is uh, is right there as well okay and so I started with that and kind of narrowed down to where I have this, I had a feeling that okay these are kind of where we would be maybe considering and then what I did was I did some research with um, a couple of cost of living websites uh, you can find it uh, with this particular link uh, click on this and this is called Numbio cost of living so for example if I wanted to see Costa Rica I would go here I would select um, I would find Costa Rica and then once I get there I uh, then need to change the currency here to US dollar so I can kinda understand it sorry it's kinda off the screen here but uh, anyway I selected USD and so meal at an inexpensive restaurant you know and then um, I also look particularly for apartment in city center we live in San Francisco so we're kinda used to uh, urban living a bit so we want to transition more gradually and therefore we were, we're looking for the city center there. Um, the other place to look for cost of living is called uh, Expatsion and so for example compare cost of living between uh, Costa Rica and San Francisco, click compare, 
it says I need to choose a city, so I'm going to choose San Jose. That's the capital of Costa Rica, so it's going to be more urban. And then um, here I can see the housing, for example. Um, you know, and these are not these are not exact. Okay, these are definitely not exact. This is just a, a figure that. Um, well, actually, you can scroll down and see how many people put this information in. This is based on a thousand different people, has have who who lived there have put the information in. So it's not exact, but it's kind of a a, a nice. I mean, for example, we pay a lot less than four thousand. I mean, we were lucky to have found a place in San Francisco that, you know, we're paying about. Um, Fifteen hundred, uh, fifteen hundred a month in rent or in mortgage, rather. So we're extremely lucky. But uh, it gives you, it gives an exam, it gives a sample of, oh wow, okay. So living in Costa Rica is probably going to be about a third to a half, maybe cheaper than than uh, San Francisco. Um, okay, and uh, the other place that the other thing I liked looking at was uh, the average monthly disposal salary after tax. Because so this gives me an example that. Okay, this is eight hundred and eighty dollars for Costa Ricans, right? Well, let's. What if we go to, um, what if we go to just look at San Francisco, just as, as an example. Whoops, cost of living. Okay, goes back to cost of living. San Francisco, San Francisco, California. Okay, so as, as an example, the cost of or the average monthly disposable is four thousand dollars. So, Costa Ricans' average salary. Uh, is 880 versus 4,000. So, if we could shrink our, you know, even if we shrunk our cost, our, our living expenses by half, we would still be living even better than the locals in Costa Rica. And if you know anything about the studies of happiness, happiness, uh, unfortunately for human beings, is very much um, somehow we compare how we're living with our neighbors and with the people in our region. And so, if we're living better at, at the level or better in terms of quality of life from the people around us, it's, it's hard not to be happy because we see what's around us and we see our own life in comparison. So that's why it's important, important to compo compare the salary. And so I've done that. I've, I put these numbers in here. So uh, you can, for example, by the way, you can, you can sort by these things. Even though this is not your spreadsheet, you can still sort it by clicking on the top clicking on this, the, the, the top of each column and clicking on this and clicking sort by, so for example, if you want to see where's the lowest average salary, click sort sheet A to Z and, oh, whoops, okay, there you go. Okay, it's sorting by A to Z, oh, this is, you can X that out. This is, says temporary filter because you're not sorting for everybody who's looking at this just for you. And so anyway, um, interesting uh, thing to look at. Uh, if you wanted to sort by, by, a, by something that has a link in it, here's a trick. You can't, you can't click on the top because the link shows up. So you simply click somewhere else that doesn't have a link and then you click back to the place that has a link and then you click the sort thing. So if you want to sort by rent, you uh, sort by A to Z. Okay, and then there you go. Okay, so um, <clears throat> what else do I want to show you? Um, oh. So if you're curious where I found some of these numbers, like, okay, where did I find corruption and political stability score? Uh, simply click on here and then click, again, click the link, and there's an actual website that gives uh, studies of corruption index and, you know, every year and that kind of thing. So um, that's where I got these numbers. And uh, sometimes higher is better. Sometimes on some scores, higher is, most scores, I think higher is better. Um, so corruption higher is is better. So what I did was I highlighted, I on, on each of these I highlighted scores that were above average in that column. So you know, for example, Malaysia here is above average in terms of uh, corruption. I should say it's it's le less corrupt than some of these other countries. Um, Uruguay is very surprisingly. Um, and also, I included some countries just as a comparison. I'm not, we're not thinking moving to Hong Kong, UK, or China, um, uh, partly for pro it's co cost prohibitive, and, um, and for China, it's, it's like pollution. But you know, I guess we might consider it. But the United States, I put in here as a comparison, it's 74 in corruption, which is relatively less corrupt than other countries. But look at Uruguay, wow, it's very similar to US. Um, so I, I highlighted numbers in each column that were better in my, you know, for what for what I'm looking for, than than others. So we're looking for warmer places. So that's why I didn't highlight this one. Uh, so Philippines obviously warmer. Um, and uh, let's see what else do I want to show you? 
so based on my highlights, this is how I came up with the scores. The score is a C note, so you can hover over, you can move your mouse over this to see the note, and you can just for every highlight in that row, I put a, I, I added one number. If the happiness index was highlighted, I added one. Internet speed was highlighted, I added one. Expat score highlighted 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So, for example, in Mexico, right, you can see the formula here. Mexico had seven highlights in the row, um, not including this this row, not not including this column, but seven highlights. For example, one one highlight, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven. Okay, so seven highlights in, in, in the row. Plus, it had um, it was rated top one of the top happiest countries um, in uh, according to a Gallup worldwide study. Um, so I added one to it, and then I added one for internet speed as one of the better internet speeds in, in my list of countries here, etc., etc. So that's how I rated these. If you want to see the best countries by my scoring, you do uh, sort this by Z to A, and you'll see that, okay? And then the uh, next thing I want to show you is the cities. I'm just starting to work on the cities uh, spreadsheet, but um, I put in a couple cities that I just did some research and looked like they were good places for expats. and. Uh, I'm looking at some of the things that are important for my wife and me. So for my wife, it's important that there are yoga studios uh, or kind of more that yoga consciousness in that region. So what I did was I basically went to Google Maps, um, maps.google.com, and then I searched. So for example, I wanted to see, well, San Jose, Costa Rica. So let's do San Jose, Costa Rica, okay, and press enter. And this will show this will show us where San Jose, Costa Rica is. And then what I did was I clicked on um, I clicked on uh, I actually wanted to, so this is um, I don't know if you can see this down here, but the scale is two miles. So uh, maybe across the screen it's one, two, three, four, five, six. You know something like across the screen is something like 15 miles total total distance. So I want to search after I pulled up uh, that city. I then search yoga and then press enter. Oops, not yoga. Let me try that again. Um, yoga. I press enter. And then this is giving me now uh, the number of yoga centers or at least Google map listings with yoga, associated with yoga in the area. And then I could click um, next on this down here to see that, wow, there are at least 20 results. Wow, 30 results. Okay, just in, in that kind of 15-mile um, radius. So that's... Uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um, so actually, I, I need to update the number. It's it's thirty, not fifteen. I actually have a, map, a link map linked there. <clears throat> so I also we're looking at college campuses. My wife likes taking classes at community colleges, so I'm going to be doing some research on based on local colleges, things like that. Internet speed's important. City crime, of course, and I have to look at uh, rent for you know three three bedroom because this uh, the cost of living uh, website I gave you. You can actually type in an actual city, San Jose, Costa Rica, and then find the, uh, if you scroll down, you can find the cost of living. Oh, this is, okay, very important. This is not U.S. dollars. So i got to find U.S. dollars in here. And um, uh, rent, three-bedroom in city center is about 900 bucks. So, wow, that's a little higher than we were looking at. But um, anyway, now we know. So i got to do, do my research and put, put in these numbers. I'm going to look at sunny storm, sunny days and storms, uh, how stable the electricity is, etc. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. Um, again, if you, uh, if you happen to know anybody who, and who's supportive and friendly and who lives in any of these countries, Mexico, Costa Rica, Ecuador, Thailand, Malaysia, and Panama, please let me know. I'd love to um, connect with them and uh, uh, maybe add to this research so it's helpful for everyone. So anyway, until the next video, wish you well.